We have reconstructed the dissected body and kept the organs in their anatomical positions. This is liver. The right lobe and left lobe of liver, as you can see, is separated by falciform ligament. This is ligament uh, of teres, which connects to umbilicus. There is a fossa for gallbladder, and gallbladder is seen here. Uh, three structures which pass through the uh, upper part of the lesser momentum is seen here. That is free border of uh, lesser momentum. The, the, uh, they are bile duct. Uh, this is bile duct. Portal vein and hep hepatic artery which is dividing into respective lobes. Then this is a caudate process of the liver which is related to lesser sac. Then uh, coming to the pancreas, duodenum and spleen. Pancreas, this is the head of the pancreas, neck of the pancreas. Here is the uncinate process. Uh, body and tail of the pancreas which attach attaches to hilum of spleen. So just below the, along the posterior surface of pancreas, you can see the tortuous splenic artery. Then uh, duodenum, this is the first part of duodenum, second part of duodenum, third part of duodenum which is horizontal, and fourth part of duodenum which is oblique. All these structures are involved in forming the stomach bed, mainly body and tail of pancreas. And uh, posterior to these, duodenum and pancreas are abdominal aorta and inferior vena cava. The major event occurring just below the neck of the pancreas is the commencement of portal vein which is formed by uh, joining of superior mesenteric vein and the splenic vein just behind its neck. Just posterior to this are the kidneys. As you all know, uh, right si on the right side liver is pushing the kidney. So right kidney is located one vertebrae lower than the left kidney. Uh, through the hilum of the kidney are the structures coming out respectively from anterior to posterior or from above to below are uh, renal vein, renal artery and the renal pelvis. This renal pelvis continues as ureter and uh, closes or opens in urinary bladder. Abdominal aorta further divides abdominal aorta further divides as common iliac arteries which further divides into external common external iliac artery and internal iliac artery. Internal iliac artery is the main artery of the pelvis. 